Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create a content manager with the help of Wix. Wix is a really great uh, website builder and I already created a lot of uh, tutorials for example about it and uh, it's really really easy to use and uh, even though even if it's uh, hard at some, uh, at some part you can easily teach with me how to get through those obstacles. So first things first, we have to create ourselves an account at uh, wix.com. Don't worry, it's completely it's completely free. And you don't even have to address your credit card uh, details, for example. So, I'm already logged in. In uh, my uh, workspace, I have a couple of uh, websites already going for me. And uh, let's create a new one. So on the top right corner, as you probably saw, it's create a new site. I clicked there. What kind of website are you creating? You can skip this step or uh, just follow through. I'm going to go with portfolio and let's go just well, well, let's go with just portfolio your website name uh, let's go with mstone port next also it's a skippable move so uh, yep you can uh, you can skip that and come back to it later and then we have a couple of options in here so uh, chat booking events blog pricing plans video yada 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 but the building the one that you can't really get rid of it's the portfolio option and so far we are pretty happy with it. We don't have to add uh, anything else. Yet you can skip it, by what, but why would you? We hit next option. And here we can uh, start setting up your website, manage app site, blah, blah, blah. Uh, or we can begin with a template. I don't really want to uh, make this video unnecessarily long for you guys. So I'm gonna begin with a template because uh, we are starting the journey of content uh, management quite further, not at the beginnings, but uh, we need to have some pages already going for us. So uh, let's pick some kind of uh, some kind of some kind of template. Let's go with this Illustrator. We can view uh, the Illustrator option as you can see or yeah this is too busy let's go with something maybe simpler or simpler yeah let's let's go with uh, graphic designer Dara Valasco okay and we click on edit as we are uh, waiting for weeks to load up this template uh, we can uh, really appreciate uh, all those options of, uh, of a template from Wix because they are completely for free. So we are in here, we have this uh, Dara Valasco girl that um, obviously is very very gifted and many more, but we want to create a content management option. So she already has some uh, some content. We can delete a few of them so uh, everything uh, appears uh, way cleaner and nicer. So I don't uh, confuse you. And uh, in this editor, what we need to do is focus on top left corner on add element and go to content manager, which is uh, an option which is below uh, the middle of your your screen so content manager and then add to site and it's adding content here we can pick anything that uh, we basically like from uh, content manager templates we can go with uh, with content uh, with custom content uh, list or just go with portfolio and uh, once we click and decide or once we decide and then click 
we will add it to the site and uh, it's loading and loading and loading and all of a sudden we have this manager we can add a new view or with the six def default items uh, we can check uh, the table the lists but i really like the table and you see here of how many items that we have and also we have a gallery main project and uh, client name this is like a big excel document but don't worry if we want to change each and every option we just click like open and we see that we have gallery and we have manage the media we can uh, delete the photos and replace them with our photos from uh, well that will serve our content manager content manager purpose so let's hit the cancel we can also check out uh, and change each and every media each and every photo and um, also we can pick like all of those and uh, we can delete these three if you don't find them uh, if you don't find them necessary if you decide that you deleted too much or the seven or six of options that were here weren't enough just simply add item item uh, four we can open it and here we can add the media the media can be added straight from your computer uh, straight from your computer and it can be image or video so that's pretty self-explanatory i think so as i said before upload from your pc or uh, google drive since i'm uh, since i logged through gmail account so it's way way easier and let's say that uh, we are okay with uh, what we have yeah we don't want to okay 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 this should be it and we have our portfolio as you can see i have only uh only uh two options and also portfolio title and portfolio all and we have our portfolio over here that is uh from three already working options so option one option two and option option three in our portfolio we can also manage the pages and you will see that we have a side menu and then we have dynamic pages which is our portfolio and that's about it that's how you really create your content manager and uh, really attract more people to your website thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one have a great day and uh, goodbye